guys, it's Crafty Cat, and today I'm going to be doing a summer Lululemon thrift haul. Did I just say my intro in one take? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I don't want this intro to be long, but I just have one disclaimer. I have my microphone set up in a new spot. It is hanging basically from the ceiling and it is slowly falling lower and lower. So I hope the audio is good. I think, is this, you can totally see. Anyway, hopefully the audio is good. I'm probably gonna have to keep adjusting it cause it's like falling down and I don't know how to fix it. But we're trying something new. But I guess the saying, if it's not broke, don't fix it does not apply in this situation. Anyway, since the lockdown in my province has ended, all of these thrift stores opened up and I was the first in the door. And I ended up finding a whole bunch of Lululemon stuff at a thrift store that I don't normally go to. So I decided to do a full dedicated video on all of this stuff. I will try to have prices on the screen, but I have taken all the tags off and washed these things, but I still have the tag. So I'll try to like piece together which piece went with what price, but if they're not fully correct, I apologize, but they're somewhere in the ball range, ball, ball price. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's just get into it. Surprisingly, I only got one pair of Lululemon leggings in this haul. Even though Lululemon is literally known for their leggings, like the Lululemon leggings, I only found one pair of leggings. And this is a very dated style, but as we all know, dated styles are coming back into trend. These are wide leg capri leggings and the waistband has like a purple pink magenta sort of color in the waistband with some gray but they are reversible so on the other side they are just completely black i also wanted to mention in one of my previous thrift hauls i had mentioned that i never know the sizes of the lululemon leggings because they never have the tags on them on how big they are but one very keen viewer which i will put their comment on the screen pointed it out to me that apparently if you look in the pocket of a lululemon legging they will have a little white dot or any color of dot and it will say what size they are which literally blew my mind i had no idea that that was a thing so thank you so much whoever you are who put this comment down so yeah just right on the inside of the pocket it has the size and this is a size four i'm so happy that i know that now because now i will know what sizes they are i do have to say i looked in a pair of Lululemon leggings that I got at the thrift store that are like my favorite plain black ones. And I looked in the pocket and they didn't have anything, but the rest of my Lululemon leggings do have the things in the inside. So I don't know if it's the newer kinds that don't have them in the pocket or vice versa. I don't really know, but still a very helpful tip. So this is a size four, these are a size four. They are about mid-waisted I'd say, not fully high-waisted and not low rise. They have some pretty nice seams down the back and I love the seams on the back of the Lululemon leggings. I feel like they really just accentuate your leg. As I said before, they are a very dated style, but I still think they are very cute. They have the Lululemon logo on the back as normal and then if you reverse them, they also have the Lululemon logo on the inside. Okay, next category that I'm gonna be doing are the Lululemon tank tops, which as you can probably tell, I got the best luck in. I'm gonna start off with weirdly the most normal thing that I got, which is not normal at all, so if that's telling you anything, it is this electric lime tank top. It's almost like a neon green yellow sort of color and i am pretty positive this is a running top because on the side it has a little rubber thing that looks like it's for headphones and then it also has a pocket on the back with a hole for headphones i do not do any running you will not catch me running anywhere because running is terrible you cannot tell me otherwise there's a lot to go over on this top, but I don't wanna bore you, so I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can. It has very thick straps and it is decently supportive as it is a running top. Along the chest part, it has a crisscross over and sewn onto the seam, it has the same color as the top in some mesh. And then going down, if it was a bra, the bra band is also the meshy part. Going on to the back, it has the Lululemon logo, which looks in pristine condition. And then the whole back part is the same green mesh. Also, as I said, there is that pocket at the bottom of the top. 
The material is so nice and soft, but yet slick. And also I couldn't pass up this color. This thing was quite expensive, but this color is such a trendy color this year. Okay, now onto the a little weirder. Oh my gosh, can I speak? Okay, now onto the kind of weird things that I got from Lululemon. I was just strolling around looking at all the workout racks and the activewear. And then right at the end of one of the activewear top section, there was a huge chunk of just Lululemon stuff which where I live, you never see. Like Lululemon is a rare find, but I ended up only getting two things from that store. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this stuff is golf attire. So the first top that I got in this section was this super pretty white tank top with a like crossover open front neck detail. <laughs> I don't even know. Collar? I don't know what to call it. It looks like a top that got its sleeves cut off. And then underneath the bust, it flares out to give a less skin tight appearance. And if you look on the inside, the material is like a cream color. And instead of the Lululemon tag on the inside, it says wet, dry, warm. When you flip it over onto the back, there is the beautiful Lululemon logo, which also looks like it is in pristine condition. The material feels the exact same as the other top that we were looking at. And on the back, there are no extra seams or anything. It is just a complete one sheet of material. Holding this up, I'm like, oh my gosh, that is adorable. So cute, love it. But then when I tried it on, I just, I, I don't know. I just feel like it maybe is not meant for me. You guys tell me what you think down below, but I think I might be selling this or giving it to one of my friends. Then the next top that I also got at the same shopping trip as the last one is this completely black Lululemon tank top. In the front, it's got the same like crisscrossy design, which is kind of weird. I feel like everything that I got was crisscrossy in the front, which Honestly, now that I think about it, I don't think it's really the style that I prefer because I don't really like v-necks. <laughs> but anyway, as all of these styles that I've shown you so far, it's got a seam underneath the bust and it's got the flare out material. And it's the same material as the last two. And it's got the Lululemon logo on the back. It has a built-in bra with no padding, but it might've been taken out because it does have spots for padding. And now for the last tank top. This is another black tank top. I have really been sticking to the same style apparently because this is a black tank top with mesh. <laughs> in the front, it is a scoop neck. And again, it has the same built-in bra style, but it doesn't have the fit and flare thing going on, but it does have two seams going down the front, kind of on the side. It's got one long strap in the middle that is completely mesh. And then right under it is the Lululemon logo, which is again, in really good condition. And then following down, there are two seams on the side, just as on the front, but just reversed onto the back. The mesh is really the main attraction to this top. It is super cute. And it also is a functional detail because it gives aeration while you are working out. This is probably my favorite tank top that I got. And now for the last two items. I got two Lululemon bras. I'll start with my favorite of the two. This is actually the exact same color of the tank top that I showed you. It is the kind of more toned down color of that. It's the same shade, but it's a little more pastel. This is the only thing that I got from Value Village and it was $7.99 on the tag in a size medium, which I don't even know if that's true. I asked you guys in the video that that person commented about the Lululemon sizing on the leggings. Now, do you guys know how to find the Lululemon sizing on the sports bras? This bra has no padding and as far as I can tell, you cannot put any padding in it. I absolutely love the color. I am dying at how cute this color is. It is such a trendy color right now. And the fact that I scored a Lululemon bra I am so happy that I have a backup of audio because for some reason my camera just stopped filming and I'm pretty sure all of the footage that I just filmed is not recorded. So if you're wondering why it was a freeze frame for a while there, I am so sorry. I don't have time to refilm it right now. So the audio is just gonna have to do. But yeah, let's just say- It wasn't a stylized choice for me to be just a picture. Ugh, I forget what I was saying about this bra. But even though I did get it for a cheap price, only $7.99, it is not in very good condition. All of the seams on the straps are like 
undone. It does seem like it has had better days, but of course I'm gonna wear it. And I'm so happy to have this Lululemon bra. It has very thin straps, which are not my favorite because they're not very supportive, but they're good for like lounging around. And then somehow I found at a completely different thrift store, the exact same Lululemon sports bra, but in a white color. This one I think is a size smaller or it just might be a different material. Lululemon's quality does not disappoint. It is the exact same material as the white tank top that I showed you earlier and it does not have any spots for padding. It's got the Lululemon logo on the back and it looks completely brand new. This is the exact same style as I just showed you so there's not much new information to say. So that is all of the Lululemon stuff I have thrifted recently. I am mostly happy with everything that I got but as I said during this video, I think I'm going to be selling a couple of these pieces. I don't exactly know what app I'm going to be selling them on. So if you guys know of a good app that you guys use, please comment it down below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you guys are interested in buying my stuff. But as I said, this is the end of the video. If you haven't liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and check out my YouTube Instagram and also my Etsy shop. I do apologize for that little camera mishap, but I will see you guys in the next one with hopefully less camera problems. Anyway.